Sometimes the people who make us laugh the most are carrying the heaviest storms inside. Psychology calls this pattern humor as a defense mechanism, a way the mind protects itself when emotions feel too sharp to touch directly. In psychoanalytic theory, it's a type of mature defense, but that doesn't mean the pain behind it is small. It means the person learned to survive. Neuroscience helps explain why. When emotional discomfort rises, the amygdala fires like an internal alarm. But for some, the prefrontal cortex steps in quickly, redirecting the pain into wit, irony, or jokes. A rapid emotional reframe that keeps vulnerability hidden and connection intact. Often, this pattern has deep roots. Studies on emotional development suggest that when children grow up in environments where feelings are ignored, criticized, or unsafe to express, the brain adapts. It learns that sadness is dangerous, but humor is accepted. So laughter becomes a shield, a clever way to be close to others without ever being truly seen. But here's the paradox. Behind the brightest jokes, there can be loneliness, exhaustion, or the quiet hope that someone will finally notice the truth. So when someone always uses humor to deflect pain, see it gently, not as deception, but as a survival strategy woven into the nervous system, and maybe offer space, the kind where a person doesn't have to be funny, to feel safe.